Now, can you tell me the name of this piece and the medium you used to create it? Um, the piece is called Flower of Life, and the medium it is in is tempera paint, marker, pen, pencil, and on all on my paper. Now, is this uh, project based on an assignment that you had in class, or is this just kind of out of your brain? Um, it was an assignment that we had in class, but I like to put my own little, uh, my own personal touch on it. Um, a lot of the other people used like newspaper cutouts for the subject of the painting, but I chose to paint a little um, alien girl myself because I felt that I wanted to kind of like personalize this a little bit more than like any of my other pieces because. I really like to um, show kind of like versatility in like my work or whatever and you know kind of like go a little bit beyond like what other people are doing. There seems to me a little bit of religious feeling in this one with some of the patterns and some of the, uh, the forehead eyes. Yeah. Is, uh, is, did you put any thought into that when you were creating this? Definitely, kind of. You know, it's more of like a kind of like a spiritual painting because it's like, you know, the flower of life, you know, it's like, it's a whole little like, you know, symbol throughout like a lot of different people, like know what it is. Um, and like the third eye chakra, like it basically just kind of like uh, portrays like tranquility and like balance a little bit because, you know, it's like a little alien girl. And so it's like obviously going to be a little trippy and the whole like patterns in the background, you know, the different like Zentangles and mandalas and everything like that. It, it, very, it very is much like a piece to like, you know, soothe the mind. Now, when you were creating this piece, what was the most challenging thing that you had to overcome to do it? Probably the usage of the tempera paint. I usually do like little uh, paintings like this with acrylic and because it's a lot more easier to blend. Um, the tempera paint like dries really, really fast. So really working fast and trying to make it look neat too was definitely one of the biggest challenges trying to make this painting. Did you have to use anything special tool wise to get some of those patterns to uh, be consistent? Not really. It was really just like me trying to work as fast as I can, but also keep it neat. As far as the background goes, it was just um, like pencil and pen and like just trying to have a careful eye on like the different patterns that I was doing, trying to make it look as neat as possible because, you know, nobody wants to like look at a really sloppy, sloppily done painting. I like the mix of the patterns and the real creature. <laughs> is, uh, is there trouble when you want to blend those things? Um, not really, because as far as like, you know, like clash between like the background and like the subject itself, I really just thought that it would be something really cool to do, you know, with like a very like, um, not as much like stationary pattern, but just like kind of having it be a little bit all over the place, but also having it look very, very much like put together at the same time, you know, as far as like, you know, the different like clashes between the pattern and then the subject itself. Uh, it was it was really fun to do. What sort of feelings does this completed work bring uh, when you look at it to you? To me, I think I could have done a lot better, but uh, what I would want it to convey is a little bit of tranquility, a little bit of um, uh, bizarreness a little bit, because it's, it's not something that like a lot of people, you know, draw or whatever, you know, it's a little like weird alien girl with, you know, a pentagram earring. So it's obviously going to be something that people are going to be like, oh, you know, that's a little off.